It just doesn't seem to be of any decent quality. They won't care. They never do. But I care. I thought we were finished with showing low-quality films. We are. But you insisted on this particular film, and this is the best quality our distributor could find. Now please attend to your viewers. Oh, all right. Welcome to Creature Features. I'm your host, Vincent. With me is the dazzlingly devilish dame of the manor, the darling Miss Tangella. And over to this side is my butler, Livingston, whose sense of style, class, and sophistication is matched only by his appreciation for quality and craftsmanship. Except when it comes to the visual quality of the films we present here each week. Oh, not this again. It looks like it came off a VHS tape. It likely did. Why didn't the filmmakers merely create a Blu-ray DVD of this film? Because the technology to do so did not exist in 1970. Oh, forget about it. Oh, now that's an interesting point. Tangella mentions that anyone watching in 1973 was undoubtedly using an analog television which had a maximum resolution of 525 lines, which is only a mere fraction of the quality of regular 1080p HD. She also says that very few people had cable back in those days, so the vast majority of viewers were typically watching over the air with rabbit ear antennas, so the picture quality was even further diminished by normal broadcast interference. And nearby vacuum cleaners. In any case, her point is that though the picture quality of tonight's film is not up to the standards we strive for here on Creature Features, it is likely far better than what it probably was on your television screens had you viewed the premiere when it first broadcast 50 years, 3 months, and 14 days ago. Oh, of course. And the name of that movie happens to be A Cold Night's Death, starring Robert Culp, Eli Wallach, and Michael Gwynn has something to do with an Arctic research station and monkeys or some other nonsense like that. And joining us to watch tonight's film will be our old friend, horror director Jackie Kong. She'll chat us up about her new comic book series, tell us what she's been up to as of late, and chime in about the quality of tonight's film, or lack thereof. So don't go away for it is to be another night of Arctic research fright, right here on Creature Features. Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs>